This is a really beautiful sight. You can't see how many people, the crowd goes all the way back towards the trees. This is just a beautiful sight. This action today represents a new stage in the fight against climate change, inequality, and injustice. We stand here united today because we refuse to let the mega corporations, big oil, big coal, and the people who profit off the destruction of our environment to determine our future. <laughs> to force us to take dirty fossil fuel jobs and further destroy our environment, guaranteeing our children will not have a safe future. It does not have to be this way. We will not let it be this way. We also face the disaster left in the wake of the capitalist crisis. Wall Street wrecked the global economy, forcing millions of people out of their jobs and evicting millions from their homes. They're still trying to force us to pay for their crisis. And these same corporate interests that ignore the science, that ignore the alarm bells, and continue slashing and burning our environment in their quest for more profits, they're building billion-dollar coal export terminals and directing bomb trains to our cities. And they have the audacity to tell us, well, we create the jobs, don't we? Better give us a $9 billion tax handout. Better lessen the environmental regulations or we may not create the jobs for you. Well, we're here today labor, environmental, and social justice organizations to say we totally reject that false choice between a clean environment and good union jobs. Let's rebuild the economy around green technology. This could not only start addressing the damage of global warming, but also create millions of jobs expanding public transit, retrofitting our homes, installing millions of solar panels, and building a new electric grid. But brothers and sisters, how are we gonna get it done? I think it's clear, we cannot rely on the political establishment. They've had decades, and they have completely failed. That just leaves us, all of us here together. We need to get organized just like we were in the fight for 15. We need to engage in direct actions, just like the fast food strikes. Im <laughs> Imagine if we had thousands of people blocking the train tracks until we had a moratorium on oil and coal trains. was won because we built a movement. But decisive to that victory was the 93,000 people who voted for Shama Sawant. She ran independent of the two parties, took no money from corporations, and showed our movement can put our own people in power. Contrast that to President Obama. Millions of people had hopes that he would tackle climate change and walk the picket lines with workers. But what did we get? Billions in bailouts for Wall Street. Refusal to negotiate a binding climate treaty again and again. And the largest expansion of fossil fuels in a generation. Clearly, we can't rely on either party. The Republicans are insane, and the Democrats don't do enough. In reality, they're both parties of big business. We need to build a movement independent of the two parties. There is no time to lose, brothers and sisters. But we're winning. We won 15. We elected the first socialist in 100 years. Now, Let's turn the tide against big oil and all the corporations blocking a sustainable future. 
Big oil is not going to quit until they've drilled every drop. They have enormous power, but what are they using it for? They're using it to blast off mountaintops to get at the coal. They're using it to crack open the earth to get at the natural gas. They're using it to pollute our land, our air, our water, and our bodies. What right do they have to that power? Fossil fuel corporations that stand in the way of taking action on climate change, ExxonMobil, Chevron, Shell, BP, and the rest of them, these corporations threaten our future. They should be taken out of the hands of the billionaire CEOs and into public ownership. And we should be able to decide democratically whether our society spends billions on coal export terminals or clean energy jobs. Let's take power over our futures. Let's use the resources to build a more sustainable and just future. Let's build a society organized to maximize human happiness, not private profits where the economy works for the billions, not the billionaires. Solidarity.